We are and will continue to be open for business and hope to see you soon. A message from the CEO of David's Bridal after the company announces they are filing for bankruptcy. Concerned brides-to-be, who recently bought dresses from there, reached out to us looking for answers. So the News 4 I team's Lindsay Bramson started investigating what this means for them. Well, Tracy, here at News 4, we're always looking out for your money. So I started digging to find out if all those brides are going to be able to get those dresses. Veronica Privet has always imagined what her wedding day would be like. The dress was probably the most important thing for me. I've thought about it since I was a little girl. She said yes to the dress back in September at this David's Bridal in Cool Springs. However, her fiance Andy still has to get her dress. Not only are we both getting our wedding dresses, um, we have Bride, each of us has bridesmaids. Nine dresses total, all coming from America's largest wedding retailer that just filed for bankruptcy, leaving both Privet and her fiance with many unanswered questions. Perhaps are they going to raise dress prices? Um, are they going to eliminate retail stores? There's a lot of ways that this could end up affecting stores in ways that they may not even be aware of. Good questions. Here are the answers. Will dress prices go up? According to David's Bridal, no. Will all 300 stores remain open, including the seven in Tennessee? A representative for the chain says yes. And will customers still be able to purchase other items, including shoes and veils? Also yes. But one thing will always remain the same, our commitment to the customer. According to David's Bridal, all brides will receive dresses on time and there will be no impact to customers. And customers are receiving emails like this telling them their dress is on schedule. Now, if you have a dress at a local David's Bridal and want to know the status of it, we have all the information on who you can contact on our website right now. Just go to WSMB.com and find this story. Tracy, Tom. Good information, Lindsay. Thanks.